impeachment. Yes. You know, I do feel like you've had moments where it's like, Cory Booker's really getting ready to take off, and then something comes in that prevents you from being able to, like, take full advantage of the moment. You just have to be out right. here doing everything that you can to get your message across, to let people hear and feel your heart, the spirit. You've got to sort of have a zen attitude and just let the rest of the fall where it can. Now a story comes out that the whistleblower has some kind of a connection to one of the 2020 candidates. So I'll ask you right now, do you have any connection to this whistleblower? <laughs> I don't know who the whistleblower is. Okay, so it's another element where Trump's going to seize on this, it's, and it's going to generate more news, and you're out here still at 2%, trying to get people to pay attention to Cory Booker. Is that not hard? First of all, you're slandering me by saying 2%. Qualify for the November state yes. necessitates three percent. Three percent. I'm sorry. You I know, really, man. Sorry, I'm living in a. I'm living in a. Step outside. <laughs> I have no control over anything you yeah. said. I got to get out every single day and do the work. Stand before people. Connect with folks. I, I don't control what you're talking about, and right. so I'm not going to focus there. Do, do, deal with what you can control, and the rest will take care of itself. You pay attention to what really does matter at this point. Kerry campaign, Obama campaign, Carter campaign, Bill Clinton campaign, all of them were not exactly where Biden is. They but, weren't exactly where Warren is. They were exactly where I am. But Corey, but Corey, it's a fact that none of those precedents, none of them, yes. took place where there was a sitting president in the middle of an impeachment inquiry. Not I, one. I would argue that Carter was coming after a country being traumatized by Nixon. And so I think I've got the right message for the right moment for a nation that wants to heal come back together and take on not fighting each other, but fighting the challenge of climate change, the scourge of gun violence, the outrageousness that people are putting aside, life-saving drugs because they can't afford it. These are the things Americans want to join together because we mostly agree on these issues uh, uh, as opposed to the exhaustion of dealing with a president who engages in moral vandalism every single day.